good morning, eighth grade students. I'm Dr. Smale, and I'm here today with uh, Mrs. Lamana, and we're going to bring to you our virtual award ceremony for this year. Um, I have a couple words I wanted to share with you as a principal, uh, sort of to summarize the last three years, which have gone very quickly, I'm sure, for all of you as well as for me. You know, as, as your principal, this will be one of the last times that I will have an opportunity to address you as a class at EHMMS, so I have a few comments to share. I wanted to thank you uh, personally for leading the way this year. We have made it through all the challenges of the past 15 months, and really we made it through those challenges with the help of all of you. Thanks for all of your hard work and dedication during a year that was about as unique and as challenging as any of us could have ever imagined. All of you worked through the schedule changes, the school shuts downs, and many of the quarantines that unfortunately you had to deal with. So thank you for your patience in which we worked through all of that. During that time, you kept the bar set really high for our sixth and seventh grade students and provide excellent leadership to all of them. As we sit here today, I want you to think back as a sixth grader when you entered the building and attending your web orientation, when you were probably excited and also nervous as most of you spent your first six years in the same elementary school. In a relatively short period of time, don't you have now gone through your middle school careers and they're coming to a close right in front of your eyes. The next chapter of your life lies ahead. And, and as we look back at your time at, at EHMMS, I feel confident in saying that all of you are definitely as prepared in facing whatever obstacles you may encounter in high school. Middle school was no doubt both an exciting and at times a challenging journey for each of you. In sixth grade, it was sort of a step into your new territory, a run towards more independence when it felt like you were just finishing mastering your timetables. Seventh grade was a year of discovery. It was, it was a place that was all, too, all more familiar. Of course, we were going through a renovation, so it wasn't that familiar to all of you. But there were new opportunities for many of you, such as representing our school on a sports team. Your eighth grade year began with the realization that you were now the leaders of Emory H. Marple and concludes with the development of new goals and ambitions for your first year in high school. All through middle school, each of you took chances and experienced changes. Changes personally of setting higher goals and standards and in lives as you, in your lives as you slowly develop independence, ch chances academically with grades and extracurricular activities, and chances even socially branching out and meeting new friendships. I would think as, as all of you look back as you entered as middle schoolers, all of you have new friends that you didn't have before you entered the building as sixth graders. During that time, you may have experienced your first disagreement with a friend, develop new interests and passions, and experience true achievements that made you and all of us proud. But one thing is for certain, each of you would not be where you are today with the help and support that you received along the way. Please take a few moments on your final days of school here to thank those adults at Emory Markle, your teachers, your counselors, and the other support people who taught you curriculum inside the classroom and life lessons outside of it. Also, do not forget to thank your parents who were here to pick you up after sports practice or drop you off early for school and for always being there to support you 1,000%. They deserve a lot of credit. Give thanks to all who made, made your middle school career and experience the experience that it is today. In the next four years, each of you will have the opportunity to define who you are and ultimately who you will be. So as this chapter ends in middle school, we hope that you are ready to begin the next one. You will be missed here at Emory H. Markle, but don't worry, we will be watching from a distance and are excited to see you make your mark as you move to high school. You may be proud to be your principal on behalf of everyone at the middle school. Good luck, uh, good luck, excuse me, I'm getting a little emotional here. Good luck to all of you as you enter high school shortly as the class is to time. Hand it over to you. Thank you. So each year, we have awards at the end of the school year for all grade levels. This year, what we're going to do for eighth grade is we are going to have a PowerPoint presentation after I talk about the different awards, and that will show you the students who've been uh, given these awards. The awards this year are, we have 27 students who will be um, given the Spotlight Student Award and there are 13 from team five and 14 from team six. Those students, and you'll see them soon 
their pictures on our PowerPoint uh, when, when we move on to that. Those students have positive attitudes. They're hard workers. They're very good citizens. They're kind to others. They're helpful to their teachers and their peers. And they're involved in school as much as they could be this year with the year being so different. So they're getting the Spotlight Award. We have four other awards. There are two for the Turnaround Awards, and there are two for the School Spirit Awards. We have one student from Team 5 and one student from Team 6 who will get the Spirit Awards, and those are the people who are all about Southwestern. They love EHMMS, and you can tell in their behavior. They are kids who we say bleed black and white for Southwestern. So those are the students who will get the Spirit Awards. We have two students who will get the Turnaround Awards, and one is from Team 5 and one is from Team 6. And those are the students who have turned it around this year. Maybe they started the year not as, as well and ended the year in a great way. There's been a significant turnaround, so they'll get the two Turnaround Awards. I wish all of you good luck in your future and at the high school, of course. And I'm proud of you for the way you handled this school year, as different as it was. Good luck at the high school. Good luck as a ninth grader, and I know you'll do well. And just to add on to what, what Mrs. Uh, Lamana shared, we are extremely proud of the way you handled the past 15 months, ending the year as a seventh grader when all of us were essentially quarantined and dealing with the ebbs and flows of the school year, you truly were a great group of students. And as I shared earlier, although you won't be with us anymore at Emory H. Markle in person, you will be with us in your hearts and we will be watching you from a distance. So good luck in high school and uh, have a great summer. And all of you, please enjoy the Google Slide presentation. You'll see 27 students who are the Spotlight students, and then you will see the Spirit Award students and the Turnaround Awards.